What's up, man? 16 fans. My name is Cody, and I'd like to welcome you to our YouTube channel. Today, we're playing some more Madden 16 uh, salary cap rank gameplay. Uh, working on some do some different things here from the St. Louis Rams playbook. Really excited about a lot of the things that I have coming to you. I I'm actually kind of considering uh, maybe putting a little screen together for you guys that you can have access to from the St. Louis Rams uh, offensive playbook. Been running it for most of the year, uh, and kind of actually. Took a little break from it, worked out of Kansas City for a little bit, then kind of came back to it and found that I could do a lot of things from their shotgun bunch that I was doing from Kansas City. So uh, with that in mind, you know, this may be something that interests you. So if you guys are interested in maybe, uh, you know, kind of adding on to some of the things that we discussed in the St. Louis Rams offensive guide uh, that you guys may have picked up, then, you know, I would recommend checking this out. Uh, if not, guys, you know, I just stick around because we have some commentary for you. Uh, I got a couple things that I think you'll really enjoy today. Uh, but anyway, uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about a little bit today is drama in the Madden community. Uh, when been kind of interested to talk about this for a little bit. It's kind of been sitting with me for a couple of days now, and I just kind of want to put my thoughts out there. So I want to preface everything. Uh, this this is a video that basically needs to be it needs to be put out. Um, I don't like having to put this out, but it is what it is. I just think I kind of need to go on record so you guys know what you're getting from me. Uh, this is probably one of the only videos I will have addressing these matters uh, because it's just really kind of pointless to really do this every other day. But I just kind of want to go on record so everyone knows where I'm at, and I think this will help you guys going forward. So first and foremost, I want to let you know that I endorse anyone out there who gives tips on how to play better at Madden. Uh, so that's Problem, that's D-Money, that's Z-Frost, that's s -Giz, that's Madden Daily, that's all of those guys. Go watch their channel. I promise you, you will learn something. Those guys know what they're doing. They're good players. Uh, I highly recommend all of it. Uh, and never, ever, ever once will you ever hear me say, don't watch this guy's channel. Even Shocker360 probably has something out there that he can help us with. And I know how stupid that sounds, but I'm just telling you guys, it doesn't matter who you watch. It really doesn't. You can watch me, you can watch Problem, you can watch S. Gibbs, you can watch Z. Farls, you can watch D. Money, you can watch, I mean, on and on and on. It doesn't matter who you watch. Um, a lot of us are going to give you similar tips. They're, they're just conceptually maybe a little different from formation to formation, but overall, it's the same, it's the same game. Um, it really is, guys. I, I know I sound like, an, like some kind of old you know, I don't even know, some kind of old Madden guy that's like, yeah, just, you know, whatever, everybody love everybody, but in all seriousness, guys, we all play the game, I mean, we're just playing the game, that's all we're doing, like, right here, so I get, so he run commits, right, that pisses me off, I hate when people run commit, but he got me, he made a good play, you know, that's fine, I'm not gonna get mad about it, and go out, and, you know, do whatever, like, it is what it is, he got to stop, good for him, um, my point, the reason I'm saying all this is, the, is really this. The bottom line is, guys, whether you watch me, whether you watch S. Gibbs, whether you watch all of us, I don't, it doesn't matter. You're going to see similar concepts. Um, for example, right, let's take zone coverage. So if you want to learn how to beat zone coverage, corner streak flat, probably one of the most effective things this year. Did I create the corner streak flat combo? No, I didn't. Did S. Gibbs create it? No, he didn't either. He, but he put a video ad on it last week. Here's the point. I don't care who you watch. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> and you shouldn't care either. Um, I think the I think the problem is a lot of times we get caught up in this pride battle. You know, we want to think we're the best because we found the best plays. It doesn't matter if you found the best plays. Um, I've never been able to play in a Madden tournament. It just hasn't happened yet. Haven't been able to do it. A lot of it really. It's just because of where I'm at, where I'm at right now with my career. Just haven't been able to get into it. Like I just literally, like I've never even gotten a chance to go play. Is that my fault? You know, probably it is a little bit, but some of it really is just kind of the situation. So if I give you a tip, is it going to be as battle tested as someone like S. Gibbs? You know, probably not. Does it mean it's bad or, or good? No, it doesn't mean either. It just means that you know where you're, where I'm coming from. I haven't played in tournaments. Uh, you know, but I really wa I watch. I watch all the tournaments from the sideline, and I try to learn from people, and that's what it is, you know. But the point is, the reason I'm saying this is this. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I can sit up here 
and take the Madden championships we just watched. I watched every game. And I could give you every single play that was ran in that Madden 16 championship game. The, would you be able to have the same level of success as someone like Stiff or someone like Problem or someone like Spot Me Please or any of those guys? It, honestly, probably not. Because the, the value's not in the plays. It's not. Um, a couple years ago in Madden 25, I put out a blitz every single day. Every single day. Some type of blitz, whether it was the edge pressure or whatever, you know, some kind of pressure concept. I did it every single day. We called it blitz of the day. You know how much better that got me at the game? Not very much better, right? I still, I still was about the same level that I was the year before. Now, what it did do was it gave you guys more and more plays that you could use. It didn't make me better, and it honestly, it didn't make you better. That's why I stopped doing it. My goal is to make both of us better. My goal is to get as good as I can at this game. And my goal is to help you get as good as you can at this game. Well, that kind of sucks. We took our touchdown away. But my point is this. If we're going to get better at the game, we can. We have to be willing to learn. Okay? Because learning is the prerequisite to growth. You have to be willing to learn to grow. Therefore, if you're not willing to learn from someone that you maybe don't respect because you think that he is stealing other people's plays or whatever, then you're not going to learn anything from him and you're not going to get any better. We can learn something from everyone. Whether they're teaching it to us or not, we can learn something from them. And my point is, my point is really this, guys. People are going to steal. That's what they do. People are going to have drama. That's what they do. Um, any community you go into, whether it be Madden or real life, like people are going to do that. It is what it is. People are going to post plays that I have. I'll probably post plays that they have. Half the time, we won't even recognize that we're doing it, right? Um, so how do we handle it productively? Uh, for example, right, in this bunch, I mean, a lot of what I do is what Skimbo does, okay? That is what it is, you know? He, he probably executes it better than I do. The point is, guys, it doesn't matter. All that matters is execution. In this, in this year's game, in every year's game, that's all that matters is execution. You can, you can tell me that you were the first one to ever run the shotgun bunch week. If I execute better than you, I'm going to win. If you execute better than me, you're going to win. The only reason I'm saying this is because I just want us to get to a place as a community where we will stop fighting with each other about who created what and start just playing the game. Because um, it's a game. It's a game. At the end of the day, this this is a game. You know, it's, it's like we... I don't know. I guess I just get so frustrated because... There's no reason to have this level of animosity over a video game. At the end of the day, it's a video game. Uh, Greg Popovich, coach of the San Antonio Spurs, one of the things that he says, he says, get over yourselves with basketball, right? Don't ever get so prideful that you're not willing to learn from somebody else, okay? I'm not trying to tell you that Everyone out there has the most honorable teaching strategies. I don't think they do. I disagree with a lot of people in the way that they go about teaching people how to play the game. It doesn't matter. You know, I mean, we can, I mean, you guys can go to the comments and you can call me every name in the book and tell me that I've taken everybody's concepts. It really doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, I'm just trying to help people. I'm not trying to be better than everybody else. I'll be the first one to tell you, I'm pretty bad at this game. The only difference between me and everybody else is that I study the game a lot, so I know a lot about it. It doesn't mean I'm very good. I mean, you saw, I mean, I blew a fourth down and seven just now. I'll probably blow several fourth downs. I mean, I've posted games where I've lost by 20. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the greatest player. I'm, I'm not. I don't pretend to be either. Um, you know, and some channels will pretend to be that. Some channels will. Um, the reason this kind of comes to head, I want to bring up kind of the subject behind it, is um, a little while ago, 
I got called out on Twitter by I think it was I think it was Madden Prodigy, but I can't even remember who it was. Somebody called me out on Twitter and they just said, "Hey, you know, some kind of accused me of some kind of glitch or something. I don't even remember." But what happened as a result was interesting because a little bit later, this same guy got into it with another guy in the community, and it sparked this really frustrating time for me anyway because. Not thinking, I posted something on the page. I posted something on the guy's page, called somebody out, and on and on and on. And I got suddenly thrown into this drama that I didn't even want to be in in the first place. Uh, you know, I just kind of let my feelings be known that I didn't like the drama that was in prevalent in the community. Well, as a result of that, uh, people got their feelings hurt and they wanted to post on and on and on about how I take whatever I take other people's plays or I don't know the whole story and they're right I don't know the whole story and they're probably right too I probably do take other people's plays do I necessarily know that no I don't I don't really watch everybody else occasionally I'll turn it on just to see what everybody's doing because it interests me it has nothing to do with the fact that I can't come up with plays on my own it really doesn't I mean it's a play and that's really the point, guys. This is so stupid. Like, I just wish we could get to a place as a community where we would stop fighting over title. Who cares if you invented the Sting Pinch Zone? Did you win the tournament? You know? And I'm not saying that to kind of puff myself up. I'm saying that to bring everybody else down. <laughs> like... I'm just trying to get us to a point as a community where we can be, where we can just kind of be transparent and be okay with however things are going to be. Like, there's just no reason for us to have this all this bickering. Because at the end of the day, if all we're trying to do, if we're really honest with ourselves, if all we're trying to do is really help people get better at the game, you know, then whether I whether I get a hundred views or you get a hundred views or she gets a hundred views or they get a billion views or whoever gets whoever, if they're getting better at the game, it's all that matters. Right? Because that's our goal, right? But a lot of times we lie to ourselves and we say, you know, oh, my goal is to help everybody get better. But really what your goal is is to get your channel bigger. Or really what your goal is is to, you know, get yourself noticed by EA Sports. Or really, which, if we were honest with ourselves, we could probably have a little bit easier time of achieving our goals. The problem with most of us is a lot of us lie and say that we want stuff that we don't. And we actually want something else. The only reason we say we want the other stuff is because it's more noble. And we have this false sense of mobility that, in my opinion, is really wasted because what does it matter anyway? Well, what does it matter if I'm out to help people or I'm out to grow my channel? Like, who cares? Just do what you want. Like, my point, guys, honestly, is this. First and foremost, as a community, I think we need to get to a place where we're able to just share information. I mean, the bottom line is if you look at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen every time, EA Sports tells you exactly what I did. That's why there's no innovation. Madden Challenge problem shows up, runs fullback dive about every play. Ends up in the Madden Challenge finals. Is that because problem is so good? No. I mean, yes, but no, it's it's because it, the fullback dive is not what made him so good. That's my point. What makes him so good is how he uses it. So I could give you, for example, uh, uh, I think uh, Lights Out ran the two-man under. He ran that Dime 146 two-man under blitz that I supposedly stole from D-Money. Well, are we going to say that Lights Out stole that from D-Money? I don't think it matters, to be quite honest. So that's what I'm just, I just kind of wanted to say some stuff like that to you guys, just to kind of let you know where I'm coming from. Like, I'll probably steal people's videos. I don't mean to. I don't, I don't sit out and just Google people and watch their show. I don't care about their show, to be quite honest. I got too much stuff on my plate. I got way too much that I'm doing to be concerned with the latest blitz that someone posted. I mean, I honestly do. You know, now five years ago, I would have had, you know, I have time to sit and just watch everybody else. But 
I don't have that time anymore or that desire. So I just want to be kind of clear where I'm coming from so you guys know what you're getting with me. I'm not going to get involved in the drama of who posted what first or who did what first. I'm not going to do it. You'll never hear me, ever hear me complain that somebody posted, that somebody stole my, my video. Never. I just won't do it. Because to me, you can steal it. I don't care. It's not that important to me. Okay? Likewise, you'll never hear me... You know, I, I try to give credit. Like if I find, like if I'm doing something, for example, when like if I run the shotgun bun bunch of week, you'll see me playmaker the running back sometimes. Well, too tenacious is someone that taught me how to do that. I was watching one of his games and he was doing that. Okay, so I'll give credit to too tenacious, but I'm not gonna give it all the time because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who invented it. It really doesn't. Um, this is free market. This isn't copyright material. It's not like we're going to go to jail because we stole somebody's blitz. It's just, it, it's just a stupid argument, guys. So, just wanted to let you know where I'm coming from on it. But for the rest of this, I want to just kind of get into this commentary. So, um, what I've been doing a lot lately is running this Dime 146 because, like I said in the other one of the other videos I posted... People are people are starting to get away from two man under for some reason. I don't know if it's because people are getting better at beating it or whatever, but I'm still having a lot of success with two man under. Like I have not seen anyone that can really really beat it, um, even at the tournament level. Like they can beat it, they can get a couple dots here and there, but like as a whole, they normally have a very very hard time. And the thing about two man under that I love about it, the best part about it by far is that it does such a good job of just kind of slowing the game down and letting you see what kind of routes they have. Um, the more I run two men under, the better I like it. So I've been doing that a lot on defense. Um, another thing I've been doing is on offense, um, starting to maybe run, mix in some some four verticals. Um, that's something else I've been doing. So that's been beneficial. And what I'll do oftentimes is I'll play heavy two men under for the first half and then I'll come out in this zone blitz and start to kind of adjust to you once I kind of feel like I know what you want to do. So this guy, uh, what he's been doing a lot of is crossing patterns uh, to try to beat man to man. A couple posts here and there. Now I'm sure we'll get inside zoned. Corner streak flat. Little halfback slip screen. That's a pretty good little slip screen. Looks very similar to that. That one play from that formation. Um, another thing I'm doing, I play over the top coverage a lot. I find that to be very effective. Um, but my big thing is like on defense, you just don't want to give up big plays. So I try to watch that big play stuff. As I say that, I give up a big play. <laughs> See, that's why you can't run cover three. <laughs> and I'm telling you, it doesn't matter who your corner is. Like, sometimes you just get mossed. Which is why I stopped, I stopped spending too much on my corners. Oh, good run. <laughs> On offense, I've been getting really, really good at goal line scoring plays. Um, I'm finding that those post routes are really, really effective, especially like the unbumpable post routes. Those are really, really effective. So I've been using those. Uh, I haven't really been doing a whole lot. I still am struggling with my bunch because like, like it's really good, but it could be better. You know, there's a, I'll tell you what, guys. This Kareem Jackson, pretty good. Or William, is it William Jackson? Or Kareem, I think it's William Jackson. He's got like 98 speed or something like that. Crazy. The problem is that I haven't been very good with, I haven't been mixing in PA post enough. 
so that's kind of Oh, I just threw an interception. That sucks. Cam Chancellor. Gonna have to step it up on defense for sure here. Let me see what he does here. Maybe a little post route, a little slip screen again. This guy's running a lot of screens. Roethlisberger had two. Basically, he's had two aggressive catches, and that's two aggressive catches and two screens. And that's pretty much what he's done. <laughs> Probably inside zone here. Oh, this one on one aggressive catch. Can we get that? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? He's got three consecutive aggressive catches. There's the uh, halfback quick base. We're in trouble. Yeah, we're in trouble this game. Been doing really good. Last couple of games, but. Dang it, man, he's gonna. There's the halfback base again. Man, it's hard. It's hard to stop. I'm trying to figure out how to stop that quick base in combination with the verticals and the slip screen. Little, little trap play there. Kind of gambling here, but I think he's gonna go halfback base, so we're gonna run commit. I'm gonna use her this safety. Yeah, I gamble. Now, what he'll do, no huddle? Nope, no, no huddle. I thought I was saying I'd take the field goal here. Put him up by two scores in the fourth quarter. He's got a really, really good uh, zone coverage. I've been finding that a lot of people have been going to zone coverages lately. See what we can do about that. I've been finding that verticals has actually become one of my favorite plays. It's actually one of the simpler plays, but it's very effective. More Jackson. Oh, dang it. Let's see what we can do here as an offense. See, like right here, this is like quarters. You want man? Little dime to Victor Cruz. I see right here, uh, this is where I kind of go back and forth on like how I want to play this, but I really just want to. I'm playing from behind, so I need a quick score. So, however, I can get that is what I'm going to do here. Crossing pattern to Stanley Havili. I'm going to try to get to about the 30 yard line and then I'll take a field goal if I can, depending on where the clock's at. Goes cover two. Crap. The problem sometimes is that the pressure can just get you. If you're not. You're not watching that pressure from just freaking like you up for days. Here he's probably gonna go man to man, I would assume. Let's see what he does. I can get my man Trey Williams open field in the open field. There's my man Trey Williams. And then what I like to do in these situations, so for example, let me just explain what I'm gonna do here. So this is kind of important. So I've got about let's see, I've got like 30 seconds. I need to score in that 30 seconds. I need to score before the two-minute warning. So what I like to do in this in this situation like this is play slot out from this shotgun wing trips weak or whatever it's called is actually pretty good. 
What makes it so good is it's got that post route to the tight end, and then I can motion snap this little corner. See if I can't get an aggressive catch. I don't know why that stupid silver tight end's in the game. What pisses me off about salary cap is like they, for some reason, they think that they think it's okay to just like take your best, like t for the fatigue. Like the fatigue drives me insane. Dang it, that should have been. That should have been an easy catch for the stupid touchdown. Why, Justin Dreeser? See, that kills me, man. That kills me. They put my silver tight end in for three straight downs when I have to score in a situation like this. It just drives me crazy. We can't snap the ball. That was so stupid. See, that was stupid of me. I should have just thrown it away. Because, see, now we only have 17 seconds. That was pretty bad clock management. Because, see, now we're going to have to kick it, kick the ball out of bounds. The reason we kick the ball out of bounds here is so we can save that two-minute warning. Because we don't want him to run the clock down and catch that two-minute warning. We need that clock. So we're going to just kick it out of bounds here. I hope it goes out of bounds. I, it should. There we go. Kick the ball out of bounds. What it's going to do is it's going to give us a little bit more time on that clock. And ideally here, we'll see what he does. But he's probably going to run three consecutive halfback bases. If I'm him, I throw the ball here on first down. Let's just see what we can do here. There's a big sack. That was a huge sack. And see, that two-minute warning is going to stop the clock. So we actually have a chance now. we got three timeouts. If we can hold him here, put him in a bad situation because he's at second and 16. If I'm him, I run the ball, though. Because he's, he's only down, or he's up by eight points. We'll probably pass it. Nope. There's that post route. There we go. So he throws an incompletion. So see, now we got the timeouts on our side. So that's not too shabby of a job by the defense. Hopefully the offense can come out, put eight points on the board, and we'll be able to go into the uh, overtime session with this guy. So uh, this actually is not that bad of a game. Hopefully you guys can catch some of the game plan strategies. If I'm him, I run the ball here. Half back base all day. He's not going to do that. He's going to run stick. Oh, we got a fumble. That was a huge fumble. Okay, so he so he ends up picking it. We can't call a timeout. Man. So now we got exactly what we wanted there on the defensive side. We kicked the ball out of bounds. We had a big sack. We pushed him back. Two big sacks there. Um, only had to use one timeout. We got 146 left, and we get a chance to return a punt here. So, I mean, we couldn't have asked for a better – a, you know a better way to do this. Uh, I thought we could hold that hold that block and maybe break a punt return. So as an offense here, I mean, you know, this is exactly the situation. I mean, this isn't the situation you want to be. You want to be down seven points instead of eight. But anyway, let's see what we can do here. Cover two. Jared Goff is really pissing me off. For some reason, he has thrown so many, so many balls in the dirt, man. Let's see what he can do now. This guy's been running a lot of like cover six, which is a really weird defense. Dot to Brandon Cooks, and he catches. What a catch. Little PA scene shot here. Try to, try to hit Tony Gonzalez over the middle. We got 
cylinders open. So that's pretty good drive there. Actually, we have time two to go for two, and if we don't get in for two, we're able to make some adjustments. We're going to go halfback toss. Normally, they sell that to stop your fullback slam. So we're going to go halfback toss. Let's see what we can do here. Yep, yeah, so we're in for two. So uh, that's pretty good. We got a chance here. Uh, we got a chance here. We've now made it a game, and he's going to have to throw the ball if he wants to try to win it before overtime. And he's got his three timeouts, so obviously he's going to try to do that. So we've made it a game. Now the defense has got to stand up for itself. This is a pretty good little game here, it turns out. So defensively, my idea is I'm very um, kind of aggressive here. So zone blitzing style defense is what I'm going to do. He's probably not going to run the ball. Um, so we're going to try to take advantage of him passing. Nope, he goes halfback base first play. Intriguing call. Should I call timeout? Should he? Nope, no timeout there. Interesting. Does not call the timeout there. That's interesting. He must be thinking field goal all the way. something wow he's got a wide open he's gonna go down there oh that sucks dang I don't know what happened to my deep blue zone man that kind of sucks it's a crappy way to end the game we played really really well well guys looks like he's gonna kneel it out and take the field goal Dang it, that's a sucky way to end the game. Crap. Oh, well. Well, guys, that's going to do it for the commentary today. Again, it looks like he's just going to close it out with field goals. So I just want a couple things real quick, guys. The main reason I did this video, I just wanted to kind of provide you guys some content, talk about some issues in the Madden community, uh, and hope to kind of share a little bit with you. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys next time again. I really appreciate your time. Hopefully something I said in the video was helpful to you. Let me know if I can do better in any way. Thanks, guys, for your time. And also, if you'll do me a favor, uh, let me know how the audio turned out. Uh, the audio, I've been having a lot of trouble with my uh, microphone. So if you'll let me know how that turned out, I'd appreciate it. Uh, but other than that, guys, uh, we'll let you guys go. So I want to thank you guys for your time. Hope the video was helpful, and we'll see you.